Hey there all, Sebastian here with Champion Helmets and today we'll be going over our four tips for buying your bike gear online. So let's face it, buying motorcycle gear like clothing or shoes online carries a bit of an inherent risk. While you're getting great prices, you are taking a small risk in terms of fit since you can't always go to the store and try the product on. Not to mention, it may be hard to know who you're buying from and what you're buying exactly. But we'll just be going over a few tips to try and help address some of your apprehensions. If you're thinking of getting some gear but aren't sure yet, make sure to head to our YouTube channel where we have guides, gear reviews, road tests, and more so you can make the most informed decision possible. And don't forget to subscribe to stay informed. So tip one, the most important thing for buying gear online is fit. Not only is it important for your comfort, but safety as well since you don't want any loose gear bunching up or falling off. And though you may be excited to go for your new gear, the most important thing here is, as the saying goes, measure twice and cut once so you're sure of the measurements that you need to be taking when you make your purchase. In the case of motorcycle helmets, make sure to check out our motorcycle helmet sizing guide video. For jackets and boots, they often correspond to normal shoe and coat sizes, but as with any clothing manufacturer, they can run narrower, for example like with Dainese clothing, or they can go broader and so on. So it's a good idea to try and be aware of these variations. For gloves, you usually need to measure the width of your hand from the inside of your thumb to the outside of your hand and the measurement will correspond to the size. You should also remember that the fit of jackets and pants will be a bit longer when you're standing since when you're riding you will find that they'll actually draw up a little bit on the ends. So while this tip here won't necessarily guarantee a perfect fit, it will bring you one step closer to buying gear that is your size and cut down on unnecessary return and reshipping times. Tip two, make sure you're buying quality gear. Since you don't want to head out, buy something and find it falls apart after a few rides, the best advice in this case would be to make sure you're buying from a respected brand in the respected field that you're buying this helmet for. Sometimes you may find some lower quality pieces of gear, so it's good to check out our gear reviews and helmet road tests where we take these helmets out on the road, measure their performance, and leave the decision to you. If you have any questions, you can also always contact us by chat or via email. Tip three, check how much closure and adjustability you'll be getting on your equipment. In the case of helmets, try and find out how many shell sizes the helmet comes in since you want a shell closer to your size and not just extra padding to make up the extra space. Just to illustrate the shell sizes here, I've got the Shoei GTR2 and an extra extra large and an extra small to just exaggerate the difference and you can already see how this helmet is more compact and if you have a smaller head shape, this helmet would be better for you. Not all helmets out there come with three shell sizes like the GTR2, so it's good to be aware of this difference. So the more shell sizes, the better. With helmet, if the fit isn't quite right, you can also try and change out the different cheek pad sizes. And with some helmets like the Icon Airframe Pro, you actually have a five-piece liner as compared to the standard three, so you have even more adjustability. For jackets, pants, boots, and gloves, the best thing to look for is how much adjustability you're getting in terms of the cuffs, collars, the waist, and the arm and leg, since those are the places which may vary the most. It's also good to be aware of what type of adjusters you're getting, whether they're belts, Velcro, which will give you some more custom fit, or just rivets, which will give you more set options. This brings us to tip four, and it's most important that you check the store's policies. This may be our last tip, but my, by no means is it the least important considering it can easily be overlooked. You should know how many days you can have to try the equipment for fit and return or, or exchange it if it doesn't. So in this case, the longer time period you have to return gear that doesn't fit, the better, since we're all busy people. For example, here at Champion Helmets, we have a simple 100 day return policy. If you're planning on returning a piece of gear though, as with clothing, make sure to keep all the packaging and tags intact and attached to keep the gear saleable. Some sellers may charge you restocking fees, which is something to also be aware of. Furthermore, check out the other service related aspects of these sellers. So how much does the company invest in reviews? For example, this video it says a thing or two, how serious they may take their role in informing customers. Do they chat with you? Do they answer your questions? For example, you don't wanna just get a chatbot that'll give you automatic answers. And also what's the response time when you send an email? Some questions you may need to ask yourself before buying are, does this company price match? What do they do for returning customers? Do they give you incentives? How long does their shipping take? Which is always a good question since you wanna get riding as soon as possible. What are the shipping costs? And last but not least, what do others say about the company? A good idea for this is to check out the reviews they got from others. They'll give you a good impression of what to expect, especially Google reviews since these are very hard to influence by the seller. 
So there are some review programs out there which can be more easily influenced by sellers to make them look better. So just make sure to always check their Google reviews as well. If you're planning on buying your gear online, then make sure to head to championhomes.com where we have a lowest price guarantee, great bundle deals, and a 100-day return policy. So there you go for some basic tips in buying equipment online. Make sure to check your fit before placing your order. Make sure it's quality gear from a respected company in the field. See how much adjustability you'll be getting and check the store policies in case what you get is not what you wanted or it doesn't fit right or you have important questions. Ultimately, these tips aren't just to help save you money and time, but with a focus on fit to ensure safety. Since more than anything, this is what this gear should be giving you. So when you're making your final decisions on what gear you're getting, make sure to focus on safety above all with style as an extra bonus. Let us know if you have any more tips and experience to share, and if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and check the bell to stay up to date on the latest content. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.